That's not on, is it? I don't know. Is there a... Okay. My name is Jill Noland. I'm the CEO of 125 and I'm the Vosca Advocate on the Bristol Safeguarding Children Board. We last met as a board on the 21st of October. So I'm just going to go through some of the key themes from that meeting. Um, firstly, there was a presentation given about the Be Safe service. This is a service for young people up to 18 years of age who have problematic or harmful sexual behaviour. The service also supports parents and carers of those young people. Over the last year, Be Safe Service has offered a service to 72 children and young people and their parents and carers, including direct work and consultations to professionals and carers. So Be Safe supports very complex and vulnerable children and young people. 85% of them are victims of abuse often, and they often present with trauma symptoms. 45% live in the care in other care arrangements and not with their parents. And a significant minority have got learning difficulties or special needs. And many are excluded at risk of exclusion from school. And what the stats tell us is that children and young people are reported to have in excess of 127 victims, mostly known to them. And that included siblings and other family members and friends and peers and strangers. So that was a little bit about the Be Safe service. A report was also received about the local authority designated officer, the LADO. Statutory guidance suggests that the LAs should appoint a designated officer to be involved in and have oversight of allegations made against people who work with children. The LADO should be a qualified social worker. Um, the role of the LADO is to provide advice and guidance in relation to allegations as well as monitoring the progress of cases to ensure they are managed consistently across agencies and private employers and they're brought to a close as quickly as possible. And Nicola Laird was appointed as the LADO in November 2014. She's based in Bridewell Police Station. A report was also received about the children on section 136. Section 136 of the Mental Health Act is used to take a person to safety when they're in a public place and it appears that they have a mental illness, meaning they're a risk to themselves or to others. The police can keep a person under this section for 72 hours. However, there are plans to reduce this to 24 hours. For under 18s, the aim is to complete the mental health assessment within two hours if this is clinically appropriate. The section 136 suite opened for 16 to 17 year olds in March 2014 and for under 16s in February 2015. A report was received in relation to children missing education. This report covers the work undertaken by the Educational Welfare, Education Welfare Service to ensure children missing from education are found. We also received information about the inherent jurisdiction, including wardship, of the High Court to protect vulnerable children. The IJ should be used as, as a very last resort when other remedies are not available. And examples of when this order can be made are orders to restrain publicly, um, order, orders to restrain publicity, orders to prevent an undesirable association, orders relating to medical treatment, orders to protect abducted children, orders to, for the return of children to and from another state, orders to confiscate passports and prevent removal um, from, from, from the jurisdic um, jurisdiction. Sorry. So who can apply? Any individual, the local authority, the police, but only where there is a genuine interest in the child in the context of the pursuance of the policing purpose. And finally, information was given around PREVENT. Now PREVENT is a strategy to prevent, to reduce the threat to the UK from terrorism by stopping people becoming terrorists or supporting terrorism. In the Act, this has been expressed as prevent people being drawn into terrorism. There are three documents no, yes, there are three documents which people may want to go and look at. They're all avail available on the government website. 
The first is the counter extremism strategy fact sheet for delivery partners. And then on October the 19th, the counter extremism strategy is published and the prevent duty guidance with sector specific guidance. They're all available on the government website. Um, finally, between meetings, I received an email from Adam Bond uh, following a serious case review and the learning from that case review. And Adam put out a notice to, to certain agencies um, from the board highlighting this learning opportunity. Um, I decided that there were certain members of the voluntary sector who may not be aware of this and they could, they could use this learning in their own agencies. Um, so at, at 125 I contacted the agencies that we work closely with who are concerned about safeguarding and together as a network we've all agreed to look at this in our own agencies but also together um, in one of our network, network meetings as a learning opportunity. Um, so I hope that goes well and that you know, people who might not otherwise have seen that or taken on that learning have got an opportunity to do so. Thank you.